Hi everyone, this is the bone of the inferior extremity. This is the example of the irregular bone. You see this is the hip bone. Part of it belongs to the abdomen and part of it belongs to the lower limb. And you see this hip bone is irregular in shape. It has got an expanded ilium. It has got a pubis with two rami, the superior ramas and inferior ramas. And you will see the ischium which has got a body, a tuberosity and another ramas. So these three bones, three parts of the bone, it includes a foramen which is known as the obturator foramen. And these three parts are separate during the time of the birth. And you will see the ilium, ischium and pubis all together they fuse in a Y-shaped manner. And this is the Y-shaped cartilage you will see it intervenes. So before uh, 22 years this remains separated. After 22 to 25 years it becomes fused. So you will see if I remove the uh, clay you will see the fusion of this three bone. So this acetabulum or peck shaped cavity it, it has got an articular part which articulate with the upper end of the femur, the head of the femur which forms the hip joint which is synovial ball and socket type of polyaxial joint. And this part, this acetabulum has got an articular area. You see, I will see this is show you that this blue color, this is the articular area of the bone. And you will see this, actually this is the blue color thing. I will show you just now. That is the articular area. This color, you see. This is the articular area of the bone. This whole thing. This is the articular area. The violet color you will see. And there is an area that is the non-articular area where the ligament of the head of the femur is attached. So you will see the expanded ilia. It has got an external surface. It has got an internal surface. And the internal surface is divided into anterior part and the posterior sacropelvic surface. Now the expanded ilium is expanded in the upper part which is known as the iliac crest. You will see the iliac crest ends in front which you can palpate by your own finger that this is the anterior superior iliac spine. Then you will see a notch and Below that notch you will get another spine which is known as anterior inferior iliac spine. Next from the iliac crest if you trace it down backwards then you will see that it ends into another sp spine that is known as the posterior superior iliac spine. In the living body it is represented as a dimple. And below that you will get a notch which is the posterior notch and then the posterior inferior iliac spine. And below that there is a big notch and this is known as the gator sciatic notch. And this gator sciatic notch ends into a spine which is known as the ischial spine. So very important the gluteal surface or the external surface. You will locate here the three lines extends from here. That is the three ridge I represent here. That is the uh, by the dotted line. First is the posterior gluteal line that lies in front of the posterior inferior iliac spine goes upwards and ultimately it ends into the iliac crest. Then from the middle of the greater sciatic notch another line goes upwards and in front and it ends in front of the iliac tubercle. You will see this is the anterior gluteal line and from in front of this uh, anterior gluteal line from the greater sciatic notch another line goes upwards 
and anti downwards and this ultimately ends above the um, that is the antero inferior iliac line spine so this is the inferior gluteal line so behind the posterior gluteal line you will see i have show you the whole of the pelvis where you will see the two hip bones are articulated and i have attached and uh, you will see the knee cap around the margin of the iliac crest so that you can visualize how the fascia lata is attached in the iliac crest and then to the anterior iliac superior iliac spine then to the inguinal ligament and the medial aspect is goes to the ischio pubic rami and ultimately you will see the outline of the thigh is formed this is the outline of the thigh so this is the fascia lata for your example and the muscle of the thigh you can feel through the fascia lata so these gluteal muscles they are actually inserted into the femur next you will show the iliac fossa that is you will see in the iliac fossa it is very much smooth and in this smooth portion you will see actually the iliacus a large muscle which is known as iliacus is attached i will show you how the iliacus is attached here now you will see the antero superior iliac spine and the uh, antero inferior iliac spine both of them gives attachment to a ligament and the muscle the here the ligament is above that is the inguinal ligament and the attachment of the muscle is below that is the sartorius so there is the attachment of muscle and ligament similarly here there is also one muscle and one ligament is attached here the ligament is below but the muscle is attached what is the muscle the straight head of the rectus femoris and this is the you will see the ligament is the y shaped the stem of the y is attached at the antero inferior iliac spine this is the anterior border similarly this is the posterior border and you will see the inferior border meet at the acetabular cavity next how you will identify the pubis it is a quadrilateral body and two rami the superior ramus has got the three surfaces the anterior surface the superior surface you will see this is the anterior surface this is the superior surface and this is the posterior surface now how will you identify the ischium ischium has got a tuberosity rough area where from the hamstring group of muscle arises the very important muscles next you will see this is the ischio pubic rami and from this ischio pubic rami the group of muscle arises that is the you will see the adductor group of muscle and how this adductor group of muscle is attached if you see there is the um, angle between the superior surface and the body and in this angle there is attachment of a muscle which is known as the adductor longus now it is a cord like attachment because tendinous in origin and next you will see there is attachment of another muscle which is known as the adductor brevis brevis means short and a largest muscle which is known as the adductor magnus which is attached here throughout from here up to the ischial tuberosity so this is the how the adductor group of muscle is attached next thing you should know how you will hold the bone in anatomical position you will hold the bone in such a way that the anterior superior iliac sorry the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle should be in the same plane that means the plane of a book you will see this is one book so that is related in the plane of a book and the tubercle of the iliac crest and this is the notch 
the acetabular nose should be in the same vertical plane and you should hold the hip bone in such a way that this posterior superior iliac spine does not be more than 2.5 cm away from the body of the sacrum so from the midline so if you hold this bone in such a way this is the anatomical position of the hip bone so thank you everyone